Hey guys, welcome back to Kenyan Fan TV. We're here with another exciting meeting with Steve and Wanga. Wanga, we have to start with you, man. The big game today, <laughs> Manchester United at home to Tottenham. 3-0 mm. slapping. My God. And then just to make things even worse, the red card for Bruno Fernandes. I mean, that, that, that didn't really make the difference in the game. It should have mm. been 3-4-0 even before that red card. Yeah. I mean, tell us, tell us, Wanga, what exactly is going on oh, at Old right Trafford now. right now with Ten Hag? I think uh, that was a disaster performance from Manchester United at home against, against a quality three side that is uh, Tottenham. I expected, you know, Manchester United to do better and perform well, uh, considering they've drawn their last two matches. And we saw if it was not for Andre Onana, the scoreline could have been where he was. He made a good number of saves. But uh, the pressure now goes back to Eric Ten Hag, clearly. We've, we've seen he's not the right man for the job because... Uh, being beaten by Tottenham 3-0 at home, that is very, very shambolic. And we know another statistics that we're looking at this season, we've only scored one home, one one goal at home at Old Trafford. I think honestly, it's no longer that fortress we used to talk about what, in really? the old days. Yeah. Wow. That 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 goal by Zigze against Fulham, that is the only goal Manchester United has scored at home so far this season. So I think as far as I'm concerned, we are it's it's getting it's getting worse. The rain can't keep on getting any worse. And uh, when we look at that red card set by Bruno, Bruno Fernandez, that is very, very... How is that even a captain, honestly, committing such a silly tackle? As much as people say uh, it didn't deserve to be a red card because we've seen worse. We've seen people committing worse faults that deserve red cards. But for me, that was that was never a red card. At least that could be a yellow card. But coming from a Manchester United captain, Bruno Fernandez trailing 1-0 at the game. And, you know, Bruno Fernandes was not even anywhere in that game, honestly. I think it was a very, very poor performance from Manchester United. And as a Manchester United fan, I don't know where where do we go next from here. Against Porto, that is the next game in the Champions League. We know Porto are also a very good, uh, a very tough off on it. But uh, moving forward, I think it's disappointment upon disappointment. And it's high time Eric Ten Hag gets out of this team because he's not performing the kind of lineup today we saw he, he he brought it was like a very strong lineup honestly but when the team got in the pitch you saw what they do they did we didn't even zigzag can, cannot even put away yeah. a clear cut chance honestly the only chance we've had in the game was that or that that zigzag what he had and he couldn't put it rashford zero you can see ganache honestly i think it is a very very disappointing performance and hope at home and uh, moving forward i'm i'm worried i'm really really worried Getting seven po- uh, getting only seven points in six matches, and the Premier League, you know, has just kicked off. It's 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 a really worry worrying start as a Manchester United fan. That was shambolic. Oh, Steve, Steve. Well, we, we'll let we'll let Wanga take a little breather there. You can see the frustration <laughs> is just boiling and boiling, boiling. I think it's getting it's getting to peak there. I mean, the only the only really shining point today for them, as he said, was Onana. Onana had a good game. Yeah. It could have been. It could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for Anana. Are you sound, Steve? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's really. You can really hear it from the voice of Wanda with the uh, with the shaky voice and the disappointment <laughs> all over his face. I can only imagine mm. what kind of, what kind of experience you had after this game because uh, honestly, we we we, 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 saw, we saw this game being a very Interesting, uh, a very interesting uh, matchup because we know uh, Tottenham are really, are really on form. Not really on form completely, but they have a good team right now. Having mm. like Solanke in the, in the striking post, uh, Madison in the midfield, and uh, having a really, a really, really good mm. game even with the, with the, with the absence of uh, uh, Son. So I think it's really an interesting game, and uh, I wouldn't blame it mostly on the red card because as I, as we say, and as I can say that. Uh, we expect quality, quality leadership from someone like Bruno Fernandez. You know mm-hmm. the team is struggling, uh, with a team that is eleven people, so you shouldn't make such obstacles. Okay? <laughs> that, that, that was so unprofessional. Mm-hmm. Don't consider it because you see the the state at which he left Manchester United because Manchester United are already weak. So you want to go, you want to you want to let them play. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess eleven and already a weak team, a team that cannot. Uh, Provide wins, your team that cannot provide goals. So, mm. and then you, you you end up playing aimlessly and just throwing your throwing your legs onto other players in a in a in a in a, in a play that didn't even re- really need that that tackle. So it was really poor from him, very poor mm. leadership. So the 
they better learn from that mistake. I hope they don't do that next time because uh, mm. with Manchester United with the fixtures I see ahead of them is not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be terrible. It's yet yeah. to get worse. So <laughs> brace yourself. That is the only thing I can tell you. Yeah. That's the and, encouragement I can give you. Mm. Manchester United, brace yourself for the worst. <laughs> but don't you think, okay, but, yeah. but the thing about it, Wanga, as much as we can blame the manager, I mean, the players have got to take a lot of blame today. I mean, he didn't, he, he doesn't expect his captain to go and do that. You know, he's yeah. he's trained them to do certain things, to do a job, but there was just no drive today. There was no interest. It was just yeah. lackluster. So yeah. Slow playing. You know, at Old Trafford, there's that Old Trafford. If these, if these players cannot be driven playing at Old Trafford in front of that crowd, I mean, how is, yeah. how is Ten, what else is Ten Hag going to do? Uh, I think, uh, Abdi, uh, if it can't get any worse, we've saw, we've saw, uh, Kobe Maino, the young midfielder, just getting off, you know, subbed off through uh, what, what it seems like an apparent injury. And with Bruno Fernandez out, you know, through suspension, the next three games, you know, are going to be crucial. We still have uh, Aston Villa. But going back into this particular match, Abdi, I, I, will, I, will, I particularly say I'm disappointed because uh, when you look at the level at which these players played, honestly, there was, there was no that appetite, that uh, hunger, hungriness in this particular team. We've seen uh, they considered the same same kind of goal they considered against FC20. Uh, 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 Van der Ven dribbling all the way, running all the way from his own half and even giving an assist to, you know, Brennan Johnson, who is right now scoring for fun. That's the same, same kind of goal Manchester United considered against FC20. And I think that is so unacceptable. At home, again, at yeah, home, not, that is, be fair, sorry, you know, so unacceptable. Van der Ven has done that to a lot of teams. <laughs> yeah, Van der Ven has got all that pace, but honestly, uh, that was a cheap goal to concede, honestly. How can he run all the way? Because uh, you yeah. see, uh, we see we see Casemiro and uh, we saw also Lysandro Martinez committing fouls, silly fouls, silly tackles, and almost half of the Manchester United players were booked by the time we go to the second, the, to the 70th minute. So I think uh, going back to the Manchester United players, I think they really need uh, motivation. Clearly, they, they don't, don't, they don't know even know if they, what they are doing in the pitch. We see what Ganacho is. You are given the ball. He can't even dribble past one, one fucking player. But uh, honestly, moving forward, I think uh, we need to go back to the drawing board. As a team, we need to do a re-evaluation re of this particular team because uh, the, the coach clearly is not giving us the result. Having accumulated seven points in the first six games, honestly, that is that is another number eight incoming. And as a Manchester United fan, Abdi and uh, Steve, I will say I'm, I'm a bit worried because we are not creating those chances. And when we do, we are not even putting them behind the net. Do we, behind the, the net, uh, we've brought in the likes of Ugate. That is, we, we hoped uh, he'll do marvelous with the with with Kobe Maino, but honestly, he's not even yet into that particular team. He's not doing enough. So I think uh, we really need to go back to the drawing board. We saw today we we were at when everything went south. We were we we resorted to get back to Casemiro, <laughs> and you saw what Casemiro did against Liverpool, and the, it could have been worse for today's <laughs> game. But uh, honestly, go back to where it's, it's not broke. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a worrying performance, honestly, Abdi. And um, we're looking at the way other teams are performing. Performing, we've seen Eric Ten Hag saying that he's invested in young players. Chelsea also invested in young players, and you see what they are doing. So I think if this if this trend goes on, and you know we keep on dropping points at home, at home, honestly, this is this is we we won't even finish the the the, the, the top half of the table. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a tough, tough few games for you yeah. guys. I mean, Steve, looking forward to this. I don't know the answer for Man United, but mm. what I do know is, is that they're horrible right now. And I don't I don't <laughs> see it improving anytime soon. It seems like they, we're watching the Ten Hag's tenor at Man United at the moment. Your sound, your sound again, Steve. Mm. 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 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but but <laughs> <I'm> the... <laughs> uh, then just just before just before we leave, Wanga, we'll give you just quickly give you the last minute before we have to cut off. Go on. Abdi, uh, what puzzles me is, uh, you know, Manchester United, Eric, uh, that is uh, to be precise, Eric Ten Hag, uh, has been given a lot of support. We've seen the amount of amount he has spent, the amount of money he has spent, you know, bringing in players, players that he thought, you know, he has worked either before with them perfectly and, you know, he thought they might fit well in this particular Manchester United team. He has spent a lot of money. He shouldn't be giving us excuses that... We cannot perform. Manchester United is a big club. We saw uh, what Cristiano Ronaldo said. Manchester United should not even be should not should mm. be always in the title race conversations. Nowadays, what do we talk about Manchester United? It's like we are, he's turning our team into a middle table team. So I think um, Eric Ten Hag, it's high time he should you know the way those other coaches did. If Mourinho was sacked, what about him? The earlier, the better. Ten hug out. Ten oh, hug that's how out. It is, guys. <laughs> Ten hug out. Ten hug out. Is, what is that at my United right now, Old Trafford? <laughs> <Ten> <laughs> hug out. Guys, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, yeah. good, good talk again this weekend. I guess we'll come back again during the week to discuss more of the this weekend's games and then preview the next weekend games. And we also got the Champions League coming up. Guys, please subscribe. You're making yeah. the channel grow. Welcome again anytime. Steve Wanga. Okay. Again, always a pleasure, guys. And and I may be a parting shot before you end up. I will want to, you know, went to.